hello viewers today in this video we will learn to use parameters in a penthouse so let's start let's create a transformation okay let's have some of the components here table inputs let's do that table input okay so for the table input elements we need to use some of the gradients for the database connection so instead of typing the credential hard coded here in the places we will supply this credential through parameters so let's start we double click on the window go to parameter okay so what what are the parameters you need to use let's name the parameter suppose we need to use database name database name be suppose sample db you may need to use user's name so let's keep it here abc uh, let's have password let the password be something like this okay and we may need to use like host name so let it be something like this just for example okay just for example okay now those value we have mentioned on the parameters can be called here so what you need to do is you have to mention the parameter name uh, inside dollar and curly braces so here uh, what is the parameter name for db host sorry host name it is db host so whenever you close the process you can see the supplied value okay so similarly for database name what parameter we have used i think it is db name now the name also appear here similarly for username db user okay now similarly for password also okay you have to type but it will not be visible it will be just shown like this way we are not going to directly keep password here but we are going to use parameters so our parameter was dollar process and db underscore ps pass the password will not be visible here but other things you can just hover over there and you can see the past parameter value so in this way you can you can pass the parameters value and you can use the parameter inside a job or inside a transformation thank you for watching in the next video we'll learn more about parameters